Hey y'all, uh, how's it going? It's your boy Kanan Lewis. We in the flesh. We doing right. And I'm here today to talk to you about a topic that I think we need to understand that it's okay to do. And that's about keeping a distance. There needs to be some space in between you and people and environments. And I know that might be a difficult act to commit on because now you're talking about possibly saying no to people. Now you're talking about possibly making people feel uncomfortable. Well, shoot, wasn't it uncomfortable when you decided to say yes but got walked over on? Wasn't it uncomfortable for you to give your all but then you fell flat on your face? Was it uncomfortable for you to tell somebody how you feel, but then you get mistreated? I know it was uncomfortable for me because I can't tell you how many times I've been invalidated or been mistreated or been walked on or walked over on. and It's difficult. And sometimes, you know, you want to be there for people. And I, and I think that speaks to the kindness of your heart because I got that heart. And it's great that your heart is big, it's full of love, it's filled with, it's filled with joy. But sometimes some boundaries need to be created. Something needs to be said, like, no, this is the line. We talked about limits last time. There has to be a breaking point where you say, no, no, enough is enough already. I got to stop putting myself out there for the betterment of others when I don't get anything in return. I'm not saying that we do things for the sake of getting something in return, but come on, reciprocity. Like that, that has to be a given in all relationship, right? So I think we need to understand that we don't need to be there. We don't need to say yes. I know it might be scary because you're engaging in conflict and you might have them saying, oh, so you don't care about me? Oh, so that's how you going to be? Like, like, this is making me upset because you say no. But if they care more about you saying yes than you being sane to exist, then I think you need to get out of there. I think you need to understand that that, that exists that place that you're at right now, those people that you're around don't really care for you. They care about what you can do for them. And I know it's scary. It's scary to be alone. It's scary to say no to somebody. It's, 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 like it's scary to stand toe to toe and stand up for yourself when you're not used to doing that. But if you don't stand up for yourself now, there'll be nothing to, to stand up for in the future. So we have to be a slave more to the self-care that's necessary for us to survive than to people's requests, to an environment's request. Because at the end of the day, they will exist whether we say yes or no. But sometimes we won't. And that's something to think about. I get it. You want to make people happy. I understand. And I know it's... it's it's frustrating to sometimes have to say no to people, have to deal with that conflict, but you need to survive. You need to be around. And I need you to be around because you're, the world is better because you are around. So let us understand that sometimes we're not even meant to be in certain locations. Not even just because that's sometimes we have to say no. I'm a counselor. People come to me self-disclosing outside of the outside of the school and inside the school. And sometimes I'm not equipped to do it, or this is not the space to do this. Uh, so I it's like if I say yes, I can under I can ultimately be hurting them or doing something that's unethical. And sometimes saying yes to people might not just be hurting us it could hurt them and that's what that's something to realize is that the boundaries if they're not created if we don't understand those limits like we talked about last time we're only going to be hurting ourselves and our futures so please let's let's take a step back and realize that 
keeping your distance doesn't mean isolating yourself from the whole world. Sometimes it could be isolating yourselves from these people. But sometimes it's necessary in order for us to survive. So thank you, and I'll see you next time.